Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to crochet this lovely stitch. I have started a baby blanket and um, I was playing around and I figured this stitch, it's, it's a very familiar stitch. I, I do have a tutorial, but on this one I'm doing it different, so I wanted to share it. It looks more 3D look, it looks, look, it looks more bumpity bump bump. <laughs> That's what I want when you look at it. It looks like a bobble stitch. It looks like a 3D stitch. And you can see how it looks. And it's reversible. <laughs> and uh, two sides are the same. So let me show you how to crochet the stitch. You only have to chain four plus two. So I'm going to start a dishcloth. And then... <clears throat> for demonstration because I am going to be crocheting this baby blanket and there's two so many so many I have these balls that I had in my stash I don't have their label but they are four weight so um, I'm just trying to use them up and then while I do that I found this in my stash so for this tutorial I'll be using this yarn it's 100% cotton I will be making a dish cloth and uh, so let's get started so crochet as long as as wide as you want a mm -hmm. multiple chain of multiple of four plus two and I'll be right back okay so I chained 40 multiple of four plus two and I'm gonna chain that two extra and what I'm going to do is Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to yarn over on the third, so we did the two chain, I am going to make a total of three double crochets on that same chain that we have chained. This is a 4.3 crochet hook. That I am using so two and three okay so we're gonna skip three three chain so one two three on the fourth we're gonna do a double crochet they did a similar uh, uh, tutorial but I think it was different I always forget what I do I have to go back and check my tutorials and after that single crochet I'm going to do three double crochets so two and three and this is all to it this makes those lovely bumps as you can see on the blanket again skip three on the fourth so one two three on the fourth make a single crochet and then followed make three double crochets on that same same chain that we did and then you just continue crocheting like this all the way to the end two three and I will meet you at the end don't forget to skip three one two three so on the fourth make a single crochet and three double crochets followed and this is how it will look like so I'll meet you at the end okay so I'm at the end and I'm going to make a single crochet and then finish this row just like this and then pull this as tight as I can and this is how it will look like the first row unfortunately I bought this when it was on the sale years ago and it's only one ball but it's it's really nice to work with feels like the the yarn that I did the beach skirt the skirt that I crocheted that's how it feels like okay so I'm gonna chain two and what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat what I did here remember I did three double crochets so when I turn my work on that single crochet that I did I'm going to make three double crochet Three. 
I believe, I can't remember the stitch, but um, the one that I did the tutorial, it was two double crochet. So this one's three. So if you do four double crochet, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be more bumpier than ever, that, that how it looks like. You can make baby blankets as what I'm making one for a, probably for a baby boy or a baby girl. You can add a pink dress and then decorate it with pinks and make work on with this one. But this is acrylic yarn that I've been uh, crocheting with. It's a four weight, but it's nice and soft and squeezy. So with this stitch, you can make anything you want. Towels, those Swiffer pads that you... Uh, wipe the floor even underneath you can use this stitch pillows anything that you want so what I'm going to do is one two three I'm going to jump but automatically you will see that it is already done here so one two three on the fourth here I'm going to make a single crochet so I'm not going to be counting anymore so we don't have to count it would be automatically done and then I'm going to go complete continue crocheting with three three double crochets just like this three and then again I'm going to come to the single crochet here and automatically I'm jumping three and then doing a single crochet and on that same chain I'm going to make three double crochets just like this And then again, I'm going to jump where the single crochet is and then make a single crochet and then followed with the same chain. I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. So this is all to it. And you go all the way to the end and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I am at the end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come so one two three automatically you go to the fourth and you just grab that v this v is the chain that we did two chains to go up fortunately it's a little bit tight but i grabbed it and then i'm just gonna make a single crochet so i'm repeating what we did here when we you know at the end we did single crochet so I'm gonna chain loosely this time because it's hard to grab it right so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just repeating I'm gonna go three du double crochets on that single crochet just like this three and then jump here and make one single crochet and then three double crochets just like this. And then you continue as long as you want, as, uh, as high as you want, and then you continue making your, uh, your blanket or your dishcloth or your dress or anything that you want to make out of it. So you just skip and then you jump here make a single crochet and then three double crochets and this is all to it so again it's a multiple of four plus two i don't know the name of it i just figured let me try it with three and it, it works fantastic it gives you that nice 3d look and it's reversible like i said reversible is the most thing that i like for baby blankets and this is how you crochet this lovely stitch. It's a 3D bumpy look. Bumpy, bumpy look. And I hope you like this short tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and happy crocheting!